Coming to you live, it's the Auto Hub Show with Ian and Jeff. Here we go. So what would your dealership feel like if your entire sales staff was literally on fire, your sales and service staff? They were nonstop all over social media, completely dominating your marketplace. They could do it in 30 days or less and then continue their education to do it for an entire six months or a year you literally would completely take over the entire marketplace and no one would be able to compete with you. And that's what we can do for you. So when you're walking around your community, whether you're at local restaurants or you're going to the gym, if you don't want to be bothered, fine, you won't be bothered. But a lot of people will walk up to you and say, oh my God, I love your social media. Your staff is amazing. We love what you're doing in the community. We want to come buy a car from you. We want to get an oil change at your dealership. Your community is absolutely going to Love you and it doesn't matter what platform you're on you could be on TikTok, linkedin facebook instagram all social media platforms you will literally be all over the place i've traveled all over north america i've trained toyota i've trained nissan i've been to driving sales i've been to women in auto i get hired as a speaker for conferences at universities all over the country and i can help change the trajectory of your dealership right now if you click on the link you can sign up for our webinar it's live with me and you'll learn the seven strategies that you need at your dealership in order to see that success. Hi, everyone. This is Paul Brobson, the CEO over at Trusted Sale. And if you don't know Larry Feldman at Career Changers, boy, are you missing out. Now, what are you missing, you might ask? Well, for starters, you're missing the world's best trainer. But seriously, what makes Larry a great trainer is how engaged he keeps his audience. Um, I was at a store recently while Larry was conducting training. Um, and let me tell you, nobody wanted to leave that room. I mean, even when they needed a bio break, they wanted to stick around and hear what Larry had to say. The great late Jim Valvano, who said, to me, there are three things everyone should try to do every day. Number one is laugh. Uh, number two is think. Spend some time in thought every day. And number three, you should have your emotions move you to tears. If you laugh, think, and cry, that's a heck of a day. Well, I can tell you, it's Larry's going to make you laugh. He's going to make you think. And yeah, every once in a while, he's going to make you shed a tear or two. Um, but one thing I can say, it's a heck of a day when Larry comes to visit. But wait, there's more. There is? Yeah. Not only is Larry a great trainer, but he's also one hell of a recruiter. So if you need people in your dealership, I mean anyone, you need technicians, salespeople, managers, BDC agents, whatever you need, Larry can get you staffed right with the right people and do it fast. Ways to improve. Every month we want to improve better on what we did the month before, maybe the year before. It's about how fast we can get the cars done with quality work to get it to the front line because that's where we make our money. And the bottom line is the longer it takes, the more money you spend. We want to get it down as low as possible. Right now, I like I said, we're in a great stage. We're at four and a half days. In recon, we want to know how quickly we can get the cars out of the recon process and to their front line. The average days in recon, and then the time to the line of the most important thing to be get to. I'm Mike Burrell, I'm service director of JM Lexis. Yeah. <laughs> This is Ian. And this is Jeff here, Used Car Week 2023. Last day where everybody's like getting tired, but the cool people are still here, cool kids are still here. We're here with the folks from Black Widow Imaging. Now, I gotta tell you something. You would think, oh, to me it sounds like window tint, etc. you know? But no, it's way cooler. Uh, we will have them introduce themselves and this fine young lady here who, by the way, for the last time, maybe, I saw her on the ground where they were fixing it yesterday. I thought somebody <laughs> decked her. But uh, introduce yourself, please. I'm Gabriella Turner. I'm the product manager here at Blackwood Imaging. Which explains why she was lying down. There. Yes. <laughs> and this fine gentleman? Uh, Darren Kemper, president of Black Widow Imaging. Fantastic. So he is the... Black Widowmaker. No, just kidding. Uh, tell us a bit about the product, what it does, and everything else. 
Yeah, so we are an automated imaging system. Um, we basically we can handle high volumes at auctions, or we do do like just our big thing is just cons uh, capturing really consistent images and high quality images. We have 4K cameras all around, and so basically, this is our auto scan setup. A vehicle can drive up underneath. It'll scan that QR code automatically. Three seconds captures the images, and you're done. Yep. Very cool. So if I were to go on there and lay on there, would you capture 360 images of me? Should 360 images. Do we do it? That's the question. <laughs> exactly. So obviously this isn't real scale. So what kind of size would, would a DOR ship? Really? This isn't real scale. <laughs> yes. They're working for, um, um, what's uh, Tonka. They're doing their, their marketing Tonka cars. Sorry, go ahead, please. So uh, if a dealership or auction was to use this type of system, like what kind of size would the, a real rig be? Well, so this one is about a qu three quarter or a quarter size. So um, it normally takes about 22 feet wide and 32 feet long is about the size of the dimensions of the actual system. So. And how quickly could a dealer get set up or an auction house get set up with this system? Pretty, uh, pretty fast. Um, we work with the auction, go visit or their dealer and visit their site and make sure that uh, it will fit the space. Um, there's a simple uh, electrical outlet that we need and a, and a data drop and we can get it set up in a matter of hours. So if they've got the, those, um, if they got the size and they've got those uh, utilities available, then uh, we can have it up and running in four to eight hours and uh, get, the, get their team trained in minutes. So what kind of results can they uh, get from the system? Yeah, so um, just running the car, just what Gabriella demonstrated, um, you get 17 photos immediately just from that five second scan. Um, and we deliver those photos in minutes up to their websites and uh, simulcast. And um, we have uh, various other options that come with the system, background replacement, 360 interior photos, um, as well as ability to take uh, guided, what we call guided images of like manual shots. If you want close-ups of your damages or close-ups of your tires to get extra, those extra photos, that's all possible with the system. Great. Um, you actually answered one question I had is what, what about interior shots? But so this, the, the images are taken, they go to your server, which goes to the dealer's website or the auction site, et cetera. And of course it's instantaneous or pretty darn close, right? Very cool. Is there, um, so for a dealer to have it, what do they need? Uh, it's actually uh, not as complicated as you might think it would be. Um, we have a good partnership with, um, with HomeNet, uh, who helps, and also with VinQ, where if, um, we, if they do business already with most of the other um, software providers out there for the dealership, the DMS is out there, um, it's, it's really uh, a pretty simple setup to get those images posted to match up with their inventory. And do they guess, so, so space-wise, it sounds like to me they need a, a little bit bigger, a little bit wider service bay, and that could, if that, that's all they had, it would work. Correct. So, and you really, we can adapt the system to um, to, to the service bay. Um, we, we have some more, flex we're, we have a lot of flexibility when it comes to that, and that's why we always like to go visit where they're looking at setting up just to make, just double check. But we have a variety of setups over here that on the our one board here. On that red panel there, you can see all the different setups, and we got a, we can really handle any situation where they can provide coverage for the system. Um, can you do, can you do virtual backgrounding? Yeah. Yes. That, like, to me, that's the one challenge I could see. You know, um, in my old, in my way, basically, I was one of the first people that what happened. Yeah, we had to make one up. We had to do a backdrop. We had to do. Yes, shot. and then of course somebody went and put. Yep. Or <laughs> the and then the stuff. You get your cars in, you then have to wait it. So this could literally be in an underground parking, it, and uh, it from the, from the looks of it has its own lighting too. Yeah, lighting is something that uh, um, today we work with the dealer or auction to make sure they have adequate lighting. We are working in the process of working on our own lighting that's integrated within the system to provide that nice cloudy day um, loud lighting setup. Um, and that's something to look forward to here in the next, uh, in the coming months from us, so. One thing I found that was really cool was the QR code. So at volume, like you say, an auction, somebody pulls the, you know, yeah. um, 
do they pull the does somebody pull the car in themselves and get out or it, does it oh it's awesome and they just keep pulling cars through and we can get up to like three five six cars a minute that's very cool that's very cool because that i could see how what a benefit that is and especially these days when it's all virtual because well not all virtual it's very virtual they pull the car up the pictures are there they're live they've already got the people that have got everything set up for the uh for simulcast or whatever so it's ready to go so on auction days when you have those last minute people coming in and you're just slammed and instead of having to have one person take a whole bunch of manual there's images, never last minute yeah. people Ian, there's never last minute people, is there? I, I never see last. No, no, it's the car. Everything's organized. Fantastic. Where are you guys based out of, by the way? We're based out of St. Louis. Uh, we also have an uh, office in uh, Indianapolis. And then we've got our team uh, spread out across the country. So we got north of the border to Canada. That's where we're from. So yeah, um, that's... I'm sure in our, our uh, near future. You know, we can arrange for certain markets for you to get through the snow. No, just kidding. <laughs> I thank you very much, Ian. Any other questions? Uh, no, we usually ask uh, what they expect to get from the show, and since we're at the end of the show, um, you know, what they did get, I guess, at this point. Oh my gosh, that's my favorite line. What are you expecting to get? What did you get? And what's the next step? It's really uh, it's a great opportunity to network with folks and meet back with our existing customers and talk with potential, just like uh, a lot of these other exhibitors here. So uh, it's been a great uh, great event for us so far this uh, this week, and we're looking forward to the next one. Well, that yeah, that's very good. That we're hearing, you know, some people are. <laughs> one thing I commented, you guys are always here. You know, a lot of places it's like, oh man, there's a session. Okay, let's go. We'll come back for the break. But there's nobody here at the break. Let's go. So, and that's the way you got You got to be there when people. And as we talked about too, we came to you numerous times. And me, because I'm I'm very nice. You know, I'm very nice. I would never <laughs> interrupt a potential customer. Sorry, we didn't ask you. What did you get out of? Oh, what? <laughs> uh, I mean, it was great to meet people and just get an idea of also, especially from more of the product side, just get an idea of what they're looking for and what some of their pain points are. Um, we met with some like repossession people and such and hearing about the challenges in their industry is helpful to be able to try and develop better for them as well and try and expand ourselves. So that was great for me. And by the way, there's a new revenue stream for you repossessions the the banks and they get them i'm not sure every state i'm sure has different rules on how long they have to sit and wait but you could be right they can have it right there to pull them through and they're get them up for sale anyway thank you so much it's a pleasure i will try not to mention it again yeah Darren, thank you so jeff much. and we have to mention live there who is behind the scene uh, <laughs> hello <laughs> thanks very much thank yeah. you so much Thanks for joining us. It was a great show and follow us anywhere you would like on your favorite podcast on Facebook, on LinkedIn, and of course on our YouTube or subscribe to our own channel.